In this video, we will create live reloading Node.js Docker containers. To reload automatically, our Node container will use Nodemon to watch for changes in files related to the server. When a file is updated, Nodemon will notice this change and automatically reload the server. Let's begin. To start, I opened a folder in VS Code, and the first thing I'm going to do is create a package JSON to store our dependencies and a script to start the server. So to do that, you can just do npm init. Okay. And it'll ask you some questions about like what your project name is. You can basically just hit enter for the most of it. I'll just say server.js for the entry point. I'm going to create that file in a moment. And after hitting enter a bunch of times, we finally get a package JSON file. Oh wait, sorry. There you go. Okay, now we got the package JSON file. Cool. Uh, it has some things like this. So I'm going to install the two dependencies that we need, which is express and nodemon. So npm i express nodemon, and then make sure to add the save flag at the end so that those dependencies get listed in the package JSON. And I installed them. As you can see, they're right here. Now let's create our server JS file, which will contain the code for our express server that reloads automatically in Docker. So the first thing we're going to do is import express and then define a variable called app and that's just an express server. Next thing, we can define a single endpoint at the slash, the base URL, and we'll just re reply something like what. And then finally down here, we will start our server listening on port 3000, and after it starts up, it'll just log saying that it is ready to go on that port. Now that we have a simple server, I'm gonna update our package JSON to include a script that starts the server. So we don't need this test command, I'm just gonna replace it with start. And then inside here, the way we run the server with nodemon is just nodemon server.js. Now this command here is for Mac and Linux. Um, if you're on Windows and you want to do live reloading, just add this argument here, dash dash legacy watch like so. Now let's create our Docker file to run this server inside of a container. So I'm going to create a new file over here called Docker file. And it's very simple. Uh, first thing we need is an image to pull from. So we're going to use node 18. I'm going to use the Alpine version uh, 3.17 specifically. Uh, for work directory, I'm just going to call it app. You can call it whatever you want. Then I'm going to copy all the package files. So I'm going to copy package star the wildcard.json. So this means package JSON and package lock JSON. And I'm going to copy it into the directory in the container. Then I'll run npm install, install the two dependencies that we need. And then finally, to run the server, I'm just gonna do cmd npm start, like so. Now let's move on and define our docker compose yaml file. It's the last file we need to complete this project. So docker compose.yaml, like so. And in here, the first line is just gonna be a version. I'm gonna use version three. And then in our services section, I'm going to define one container called node server. Uh, the build path can just be this current path. It's where we specify the Docker file. Uh, for ports, I'm just gonna mount 3000 on my host machine to 3000 in the container. And then finally for volumes, this is where the live reloading magic works is that we're gonna mount server JS into the containers location for app server JS like so. Now let's test this out. I'm going to open the terminal and just do docker compose up. We can see the container started running through nodemon and our console log ran saying that the port 3000 is ready. The server is listening on it. So now I'll switch to my browser. I'm already on localhost 3000. I'll refresh and you can see that the output of the server is right here. It says what. Now I can also change this and we can observe the live reloading happening. So let me change this line six to be something else. And when I hit save, watch what happens in the logs. As you can see, it reloaded and I'll refresh and you can see it works the same. We can further test this live reloading by updating our server one more time. So I'm going to add a new endpoint in here called something else, and it will just return another simple text response. And let's watch the logs as I save. So I'm going to save and you can see it reloaded. So now if I grab this endpoint here and I go back to the browser, and I do slash something else. As you can see, it reloaded and we have a new endpoint there. I'm on Windows now and I'm going to demonstrate the live reloading from Windows. So the same project I have open in VS Code, make sure you have this legacy watch flag 
in your start script. Now I'm gonna run the server with docker compose up. Let's go test the other endpoint. All good. And then now I'll demonstrate the live reloading. So I'll add a new, I'll add a new line there like so. I saved it and you can see the output in the terminal here. And now if I refresh this, the reloading works as expected. And there you have it. Live reloading Docker containers with Node.js.